Hello, and thanks for taking the time to look at a little bit of hidden Maximo functionality. Functionality delivered with a core product, it may require a little bit of configuration or tailoring, and sometimes you just need to know it's there. So when you need to be able to query things, sometimes you have to hyperlink back into the original application, in this case, um, assets. But there may be some things that you can do directly from the select value if they were there and available to you to query. So you can modify the XML, uh, or you can have your administrator modify the XML depending on your level of security and expertise, and have additional fields added for use in query. Uh, and this is just the case in the, of the asset and looks like we had serial number, type, and failure class added. Uh, this is the location, GL and failure class. And I suppose at this point, we could just head on back to Maximo and let's take a look. And let's actually, we could just stay and work in activities and tasks. We've got all the fields there. Now ah, let's go ahead and use work order tracking this time. So um, case of an asset, it's select value and we can see and query for looks like you know, assets with a seven in the serial number. So you can find your asset and if you have the whole serial number of course you can uh, be more specific find the one you're looking for and go ahead and find that particular individual asset uh, and then select it. Similarly for location uh, same issue and in this case we can use like a partial geo I think that's in there yep there are a few so you have flexibility again within the application as is delivered and this is supported through upgrade uh, to make this type of change